Welcome to another episode of Shorter is Better, where I talk about one subject or answer one question quickly and efficiently, proving once again that shorter is better. Today's topic is, and I'm going to read, I'm going to read a lot from my notes today because I cannot afford to make any mistakes because Xenu forbid if I make a mistake, all the know-it-alls are going to be jumping all over themselves to leave comments to show us all how smart they are. And that just makes a lot of work for me to delete a lot more comments. So I'll be reading from my notes. And today's topic is, can you legally transmit on GMRS frequencies with a ham license? Or in other words, does a ham radio license supersede a GMRS license and allow someone to transmit on GMRS frequencies? This question came up recently on another video because a ham radio operator told a GMRS radio operator that his ham license superseded was better than GMRS and allows him to talk on any frequency. I too have had basically that exact same thing happen to me in person where a ham radio operator, licensed ham radio operator told me face to face, I don't need a GMRS license because I have a ham license. I've also had many ham radio operators and we know that they are ham radio operators because they always start their comments with either I have been a ham radio operator for years or I have ham radio license blah, 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 blah. Basically, many have left comments on my GMRS videos saying that they don't need a GMRS license because they have a ham license. And yes, there's more. They don't need a GMRS radio because their license allows them to use any radio to talk on GMRS frequencies. So the question is, does a ham license allow someone to transmit on GMRS frequencies? And does a ham radio operator's license allow someone to use any radio to transmit on GMRS frequencies or channels? And the answer, not according to me, but according to the FCC's rules, is FCC rules part 95.1705, individual licenses required. A valid individual license is required to operate a GMRS station. What does individual license mean? The FCC says that in the context of GMRS, an individual license means an authorization to operate a personal radio service station granted by the FCC to a specific person. Personal radio service is defined in FCC part 95 so that would mean a GMRS license. There's also several uh, subparts in FCC Part 95 about sharing licenses with family members and grandfathered licenses that were granted before 1987. For the most part, none of that applies to what we're talking about, but I'm sure someone will bring those up. And all of those still say basically, a GMRS radio operator must have a personal radio service GMRS license. The next part of the question, can you use your ham radio to transmit on GMRS if you have a ham radio operator's license? The FCC rules say, part 95.1761, GMRS transmitter certification. Subpart A, each GMRS transmitter must be certified in accordance with this subpart and part two of this chapter. This means a radio must be FCC Part 95E certified or type accepted to transmit on GMRS frequencies. So that's all very confusing because the FCC is not known, no government agency is known for making things simple. In other words, no, a ham license is not better than a GMRS license and a ham license does not authorize a person to transmit on GMRS frequencies. And no, a ham radio, unless it is FCC Part 95E approved, cannot transmit on GMRS frequencies. By definition, if it was FCC Part 95 approved, it would not be a ham radio, it would be a GMRS radio. So if it is a ham radio, it is not authorized by the FCC for use on GMRS frequencies. I think we've all learned a very valuable lesson here, and I think we all know what that lesson is. Now, some people, some people are no doubt going to leave long winded 10 paragraph long comments on this video saying why the FCC is wrong about the FCC rules. And those long winded comments will almost certainly no doubt start off with, I've been a ham radio operator for years. Now they aren't going to see this part of the video because they are, they stopped watching long ago 
falling over themselves to leave a comment pointing out that the FCC is wrong about the FCC rules. So they don't know that we're here making fun of them. But it doesn't matter how long their comments are, how many paragraphs they are, how many big words they use. It certainly doesn't matter how many years they've been a ham radio operator, because no matter what, they're still wrong. <laughs>